put Seabass on a timeout because he's getting very worked up and he's uh, he's really kind of. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're, we're gonna put. We're gonna well, put being that this is now Seabass's last day. <laughs> <laughs> the Woody Show. And uh, we have a, a guest in studio, and he is uh, the market president is the title now. The, this wow. job has changed titles so many times since I've been in radio. It used to be called a bunch of different things. It was like general manager, yeah, yeah. and then it was like VP of whatever, and then it was market president, and now they just keep changing the title. Is that to make it sound fancier? It's, it's actually division president. Oh, division, oh, division president. What does that mean? Yeah. I, I, now I run a division beyond L.A. I work on other things. Okay. All right, so uh, this is Paul Corvino. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hey, Paul. It's, uh, it's Good Paul. morning, guys. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Yeah. President. So yeah. Paul, <laughs> Paul has been like the the main muckety muck here in our building uh, since the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. So he's relatively new. Hasn't even been here a, a full year yet. And uh, Paul, when he was uh, in working in some of his uh, his other markets, like he would love coming on the uh, on the air with the morning shows. And he's uh, brought mm-hmm. up a number of times, like, "Hey, man." If you, if you ever have a need or whatever, like, hit me up. I'd love to come on. And All I right. said, all right, cool. We'll let you know. Well, now, Paul, there's finally a reason. A need. Because, like, there's been a number of things that have come up. People asking me, and I don't have the answers to some of these questions. Yeah. And so we're calling this the airing of grievances. Yeah, oh, that's, this, oh, this sounds like it's going to be fun. We have <laughs> needs. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We have needs in the form of complaints. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Menace, one of the things that I heard, and Paul, you could tell me if this is a true story or not. Yeah. Somebody said they were in the uh, the restaurant. This would make Menace so anxious okay. because Menace can't poop at work. Neither can Greg. No, yeah. they no. have to get like completely naked. Would never do it. It's impossible. Yeah. You could, have how to how get anybody... completely naked yeah. to yeah. poop. Yeah, for yeah. Uh, I don't, but I don't do it at work. To be, co- I'm yeah. not four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Menace also would like uh, you know full dividers or full doors really between like yes. urinals. Yes, but that's like all bathrooms okay. should have that. I was thinking yeah. about putting like, one of those troughs in. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, the trough. No, oh, yeah. No. 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 So <laughs> on, the, on the bathroom thing, uh, Seabass, I know you had a couple of things yes. that you wanted to bring up. Airing of grievances. This is uh, Paul. Paul's our, uh, I'm sorry, our division president. Yes. Can we do something in the men's room about men urinating straight on the walls of right. the bathroom? And I don't mean just kind of a little, maybe a splash here and there <laughs> around the urinal area at waist height. I looked at it this morning. There are P marks, many P marks. At and above shoulder height. Oh, that's height. true. That's <laughs> shoulder true. Shoulder height on the t- on the tile, how? on the dividers. Exactly. Number one, how are they getting it up that high? Number two, <laughs> what blind idiot, no offense to our cleaning crews, can't see the urine splashes on the tile? And then, or if they do see them, think, oh, that's okay. I'll leave that there literally for years. Yeah. Can we do something about the uh, g- dis- well, disgustingness? F- first of all, yeah. I could prove to you that with my 67-year-old prostate, <laughs> I can never reach that wall. It barely reaches yeah. the urinal. Yeah, we're not saying you're the one we're, splashing, yeah. Paul. We're saying maybe get some <laughs> yeah. like get some signs saying, yeah. please pee in the actual yeah, urinal. Yeah, right. Aim yeah, for can the we toilet. Get a sign? And can we walk a... Uh, I know. Do, do you think we really need a sign that says... Please pee yes. in the urinal. Apparently the evidence do. is as plain as day. Because we also, by the way, we need the same. We need another sign that says, uh, "Do not leave the paper towels on the floor or on the the yeah. counter of the sink." Yeah, because people have. I think what we need to do that is, is possibly set a trap and find out who. Okay. We thought about okay. that. This person is. Is. Okay. This is I've got a feeling this is not everyone. This great. might just be one great, person. Great, great. Thank you for bringing that up. Here's a proposal. Okay, we have a proposal. And I would like your permission to do this. I will install tastefully and strategically <laughs> install some cameras in the bathrooms. None that would show any wieners or butts, but they would show areas like the floor right in front of the trash can where people apparently think all the towels go, which is what Woody was right, just right, talking right. about. And that would show strategically and tastefully who is peeing <laughs> on the wall next to the urinal. Yeah. Again, shoulder height and above. Yeah. Right. I would like permission to install these cameras. What do you think? I also need to know who pees on the seat. In, yes. in, yeah. in the stall. Well, that'd be, yeah. that'd be a, that, that, I, that I never understand. That that's a tougher install, places, but I would like to I'm saying who is possibly, they, they think they can make it in that little hole without hitting yeah. the Paul, that, that's a fantastic a- angle, but that sounds like a politician answer. I know. You're yes. giving, you didn't address need, my, my question. And yeah. also, apparently, uh, not, I, not to I, speak I, for all the ladies, I, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to ah! agree oh, man. to putting cameras in the We are 0 for 1. Like it's strategically and tastefully. 0 for 1. But maybe I can have a security person in there. 
Oh, oh or, 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 or someone, or yeah. someone, someone undercover. Okay, that that's okay. older, so they believe he's in there because he's got that. <laughs> oh, like a prostate, secret shopper, and oh, he could yeah. be like that or like secret a, shopper, a bathroom yeah. attendant, but not like the mints in the. Well, this is actually well, a nice segue. A tip every time. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you brought up the uh, the word security because Greg had a question involving security. Yeah, my question was when we get here, it's insanely early in the morning, and for some reason, the main door to the main lobby is halfway ajar. Does Downstairs, ours, the lobby of the building. Why, yes. I can it's explain this, Greg. Yeah. I can explain no, as well. No, and whether it's explained or not, is our security not important as nine to fivers? Ooh, oh. as, as before, as 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 much as the nine to fivers. Right. right, and and who knows what kind of critters could just walk right We've in? We've seen raccoons and bunnies outside, and yes. I'm not blaming Paul, but for this by any means, no, it's but he's in building. charge, and it could be like the venting or whatever, the forceful right. air, but. The doors don't close, and when we get here, I'm worried that I might walk into a wild animal. Now, I find I've got to use my car to get that door open. Exactly. Yeah. But it's but at so, that but it's, hour, it's, it's, it's in it's those half early open. hours when it's not. It's the temperature right. difference because we have a legal wind tunnel downstairs. So yeah. it's, it's <laughs> Because the air kicks off at a certain point where it stops for the evening. And then right around the time we start coming in is when it fires back up and it's trying to cool the building. And there's a tremendous amount of uh, like a wind tunnel. War, yeah, effect. warm air versus yeah. cold air. So you want you want to keep the, um, the door closed, the front keep doors, the air locked. conditioning flow on all the time. Oh, you have no yes. concern yes. whatsoever for for uh, I don't. climate change. No, I, no, don't. No, no. I, I don't. I told, I told everybody a number of times if it meant keeping my house as cool <laughs> as I wanted at all times, I'd be fine with burning a pile of spotted owl. Yes. Yeah. In order to do that, and I don't. I don't care. This dovetails to use yeah. one of your management words into another point. Uh, you know our gym isn't open on the weekends anymore because they don't want to run the AC because oh, they're, they're right. cheap jerks in this building. <laughs> <laughs> My first question is: You actually go to a gym? Oh, oh burn! Look, if you want, if you want to turn this into Paul, a, yeah, Paul, yeah. Must have, Paul must have saw the videos <laughs> and all the comments. If you want to turn this yeah, into a, re- a wrestling match, well, come on over. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> but to Greg's point, the security. Back yeah. to security. Security. Yeah. yeah is there, right. Honestly, is there anything yeah, that we yeah, could do yeah, about? Yeah. Like, can you talk to the building? I could, about, I could, like, that, that I can do. Yeah, I could talk to okay. the building management Excellent. and make sure right. that yeah. door is closed. And honestly, Greg's more. Find out what the reason for having it open is, and work with them on a solution. And Greg is more worried about bugs than he is about anybody attacking. I'm just saying. Wild animals, I mean, he bugs. means tiny lizards. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I also thought that th- this was a good idea. This is the airing of grievances. We have Paul, and the reason we're talking to Paul because you are the guy who can uh, affect change. You could do something, yeah. Well, like, that that, I can, that yeah. I can do. I, because yeah, I, gotta, I could find out why that door is open, yeah, and um, and solve yeah, that. And I, also, that's a problem I can solve. Right. True or false, everybody, every other manager below you. The only answer they're allowed to give is no. Isn't that the way that corporations are set up? Like, <laughs> yeah. like they're no, they're, they're like, they're I, like I, well, I honestly, hope this is I hope that's not the case because going back to my original answer, the key is to put the right people in and have them do what they need to do, and that means saying yes when they need to say yes. But do the, the, have you ever said that to them? Yes, I have, and I've, yeah. I've, I've said that to okay. you. When we, when you, when you I know, have but to I come make a right change or do something, I say you're the person that makes that call. It's your show. Mm-hmm. I never, I, I never overrule or, or try to, you know, I, I put you in this position because I trust you, oh, and babe. you're better at making those decisions than yeah. I am for your group. I do the same with my head of sales, with my head of programming. With my head of operations, okay, because I was—that's a, I think, a, a situation that seems to be set up in a lot of places where it's like everybody's just trained to say no, and because they don't want to go to the person above them to try to get a yes. Well, I, yeah, I hope that's not. Well, the let me give you here. an example. I'll give you a concrete example. Let's say mm-hmm. Seabass. Let's say the Woody Show, and me in particular. Every year we go to Coachella and tape a a segment for the show where we ask, you know, privileged uh, trust fund kids how they paid for their <laughs> Coachella ticket. And let's say to get to, into there and do that segment, we need one Coachella ticket for Seabass. And let's say a manager, a manager, when asked for that ticket, said, I'm not giving Seabass a ticket to go make fun of people at Coachella. No. What would you say to that manager? I would say his job is to make fun of people at Coachella. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're going to make a note of that. <laughs> yeah, please. We're making, yeah. Yeah, we're making a note of that. Because it seems to be an issue every year. Every year we have yeah. to script yeah. it. Menace has gone to... That's a budgetary uh, concern. Oh, and, 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 and we, oh, and, and no, we have, oh, hold on, we have, we have a certain no, budget that we've got to stay no, within. That was a lie, Paul. Hold on. Menace, that, you're, that's you don't know that's a lie. You don't know that's a lie. calm down. Let's say there are a number of tickets available. Right. Okay. But they're not being given to Seabass. They're giving to let's pair. say who, Menace? Not even one. Like just one ticket to is what it means. Big advertiser. Or- no. 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 no, okay. no. To like street teamers from other no. radio stations. Rand- true. In the true. Who are not okay. getting any any segment for any show. For the past right. two years, Paul, I've gone to our competitor and got tickets. To that go. is true. 
That is I'm also true. <laughs> and yeah. you've but you've gone to yeah. Coachella. And who have you seen there, Menace? Uh, I've seen the entire staff of other radio stations in this building. Well, first of all, we don't have a relationship <laughs> with Coachella. Yeah. We don't. We don't. Ha- we don't have anything. We understand with that. Them. Yeah, but we, don't, we, have, don't we do get have tickets. tickets. So what Menace is saying have somehow other staffers. tickets we have to purchase. Yeah. But Menace is saying no, other staffers. So some of the those staffers that I'm talking about somehow have tickets that are un, you're not able to purchase because sometimes one of the record labels might give someone like me tickets. Mm, yeah. yeah, and yeah. I've got these extra tickets. And you say, hey. and then I have an opportunity to do something nice. For one of the street team people, the people that don't earn the kind of money that don't produce content for the air, people that can't go there that would appreciate it. And so I'd like to take care of them at times and and, and make them happy. And when you're on that's air, nice. And so, uh, yeah. And I'm not against that at all. Yeah. But when you're on air talent asks, asks for one for a specific <laughs> yeah. reason. If, if and you, you came say no. to me and I had those fine. Yeah. But See, when those come in, they're like a gift to me from mm-hmm. someone. You know, I sometimes get gifts from people. From the record companies, from other places, people doing business with us, tickets to board. Hey, we know how it was in the or, 80s, or, right? Or whatever. <laughs> and, I, and I often give those away. If we could use them with clients first, I always try to do that. But I also like to take care of the people that take care of us. I think I can uh, shorten this up by saying, uh, Seabass is just asking, can he have a ticket next year? Right. And, I, and can you make, and can you make that happen? To, if told. I get if if, if 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 a ticket falls upon my desk that we have, as I said, we do not have we we don't we don't have a partnership. With, and, and Paul, yeah. it's, it's not even that I I they didn't have a ticket for me. It's that I know they had tickets and they specifically didn't give one to me because they didn't like the segment that the Woody Show does. And who was this that didn't give it to you? Oh, we'll give you the name. <laughs> was, was, it, was it from we'll your side? One of the was it from the programming side? Yes, yes, yes. We'll give you one of the names. Yes. 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 So yeah, we'll it was someone, yeah. so yeah. someone in a position oh, yes. that, that makes that yeah. decision oh, based and, on the content. Right. So and this is uh, the well, that's also of... their job. I've got them in that position <laughs> yeah. because I trust them in that position to make the right decision. Misplaced trust, Paul. Perhaps a misplaced trust. I'm going to have to put Seabass on a timeout because he's getting very worked up and he's really kind of... Okay. All right, we're, we're gonna put. We're gonna well, put being C- that this is now Seabass's last day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, so Paul, this is the gre- uh, airing of grievances. This yeah. is Paul, our division president, and we're we're just trying to get uh, you know some insight. I want to make sure that we are doing mm-hmm. our best to try to make sure that you, Paul, are not getting ripped off. Because if you're paying any kind of cleaning people around here, you are being ripped off. There is enough food crumbs and stuff on the floor of this studio to feed a third world country. Uh, the smudges on the front uh, doors of the lobby have been there for months. I don't think anybody the ever downstairs lobby or the no the up upstairs, right here yeah yeah yeah. yeah yeah yeah. So I just want to make sure that whatever we're paying, if we are paying for some cleaning people, let, let me uh, take some notes here. That it is uh, <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. got the Start door with... downstairs that's yeah, yeah. open. open. Yeah, morning. don't forget Seabass last day. I've got smudges day. in the yeah. lobby. <laughs> <Seabass> <laughs> last day. Uh, sign in the bathroom. Yeah yeah. Don't oh, and speaking speaking of signs, this is a another one from from Greg because. And this is an old problem. We label the uh, conference rooms around here. We give the conference rooms names. But when you walk around the building, nobody knows who any of the other people are because we don't have any kind of signage to let people know. So you're, you're upset that we have a Taylor Swift conference room, but not a Woody conference room. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. This is like, in other words, you're walking around uh, some of the other office areas, but we don't know who that person is and what they do. Like, you walk around you many know, offices. Right. They, they I, I would, names on I every think desk. That's, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh-huh. We changed that when a few years ago... Our company, like many other companies, mm-hmm. have gone to we don't have offices. Yeah. It's all shared Open workspace. Concept, yeah. In the end, what happens is people go to the same desk every day. But salespeople do not have desks assigned to them. Oh, they but don't? they sit in the same desk every day. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. The managers do not have offices assigned to them. That was the corporate policy. Yet they go to the same same space spot every day. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we really should get I think that would be we really very helpful. Should eliminate the ruse. Yeah, I think that'd be very say, helpful. This is your this office. Is your desk. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, Except then, I've got my office, and, and, and no one can go plates. in there yeah. with name plates. That's <laughs> yeah. the big thing. Name plates. We don't need name, name tags. I would love name plates. I would like people walking around with name tags. I I'm yes. saying hello to people all the time yeah. in this room right now. I only know the name of maybe one or two of you. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just joking. I know everyone in this room. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, uh, Paul. This last thing I want to bring up, and this is really for the benefit of everybody. I'm looking more of your experience as a person who has managed people and has dealt with uh, a lot of the same questions over the years. For the average employee, right, the average employee comes to you, they always say, we're due for a raise, and we're told every single time, doesn't matter what year it is, 2024, 2018. doesn't matter. Yeah, right, 1996, no matter what it is, is there a, a thing in management school where they teach times are tough, 
money is tight. We have no money for raises right now. This is it because I've noticed like if, if if somebody went in there today, you go well, yeah, you know this ooh, this clean. isn't uh, 2021 or not. That's a bad example. <laughs> uh, uh, COVID times. Yeah, this well, this is in 2019. You know, yeah. it, as if everybody was flush with cash at that point. And it's but, not you know, just our industry. Yeah. This happens yeah. everywhere. So what's the best way? And this I, I'm I'm not knocking you. I know you're under a lot of pressure the with best way everybody simply else. Is to make gains, financial gains, um, somehow part of accomplishments and keep it a meritocracy like so bonus what, you gotta you gotta define to, that for minutes position. hold on you gotta yeah. define that for merit you, you gotta dumb that yeah, down you gotta me. explain <laughs> that, <laughs> that word to menace meritocracy <laughs> meritocracy <laughs> based, what? based based on merit so okay. we will instead of giving a raise to salary i may say okay if you guys rank this this or this mm -hmm. then you get this sort of bonus i could say um, you'll go out and work with the sales team and get more endorsements. You'll make mm -hmm. more money. Yeah. Okay. You, you've got, you know, I think it, it's got to always be tied into some sort of, well, we try to at least, and especially that's, on the sales end. And, and that's on the, and that's on the radio side of things. I'm saying any, for anybody listening, no matter what they do, what's the best way so as a manager, yeah. what's the best way for somebody to come in and pitch for a raise? What's their best chance of getting a, a yes? Their best chance of getting a yes for a raise is coming in, explaining how long they've been here, what they're earning, um, and how they are, are, and show their value. It's mm -hmm. all about an exchange of value. Show your value to the organization and why they need to be here and, and, and why we need to keep them and, mm -hmm. and go through it that way. And then we, then we put it through. Then I've got to look at what my budget is, where I've got. Right. I've got, you know, I may get my budget this year. I've got to cut 10%. It's awfully mm -hmm. hard to to give a raise mm -hmm. unless there's some sort of incentive in tied to it. And if they come mm -hmm. to me with an idea saying, what if I did this, this, and this? Would I be able to get this more money or this, you know, an incentive to make more money? And that's always the best way. And people have done that. They've come in and said, you know, I want to take on this extra responsibility. We're paying this mm -hmm. much because we're farming it outside. I can do it. And instead of you paying an extra twenty thousand dollars a year, give me ten thousand dollars a year, and I'll handle that. Hmm. And I'll look at it and I'll say, well, if it doesn't affect your other job, time away from it, and we can do it, I will. We will do that. Okay. And we and we have done that. Yeah. Personally, I've always looked at it as: Am I helping make? Am I helping bring in more revenue than what I'm making? Yes. Currently at the company. Yeah. You're you're particularly good at it. You work with the salespeople. You come up with ideas to pitch, mm -hmm. and as a result of it, you're getting more. You get more endorsements and now, you make more money. Have of all the, of all the people in the building, who's the worst at doing that? Menace is really great at, but who's, you can be honest with yeah, us. Yeah. Give us a name, Give us a like a specific who's, name. Who's like who's the worst, worst at it? That's always complaining about money but not helping make more. Right? Who's that person? <laughs> yeah. Can, who you, can you tell us this? Tell uh, I, I think we can, stay, we, we, we can stay away from specific yeah. names. No, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, this has been the uh, the airing of grievances. I'm looking forward to some of the uh, security changes and yes. some of us. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then just fire all the slobs. Yeah. You forgot again. Seabass's last day. Seabass last day. Seabass last, yeah. yeah. last day. You'll have uh, yeah. HR will be contacting yeah. you. Do we get bagels at least to celebrate? <laughs> oh yeah, like on Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Paul, have you uh, have you enjoyed your time here so far, or just a bunch of crybabies and pains in the ass around here? Is yeah. that other than one or two crybabies, for, <laughs> no, for the most part, we've got a really good team here. We've got really good people. I'm really confident in the management that we have in place. I'm confident with all of the on-air talent. This is. Seriously, this is the best cluster for talent in the entire industry. Uh, there's, there's not a better cluster in any market in the United States, and it's proven based on our ratings, and we've got more, more listeners than anyone else. I mean, look at all of our stations. We've got Ryan Seacrest on Kiss in the morning. We've got Big Boy on Real. We've got you on Alt. We've got Ellen on Coast. We have Valentine on KBIG. There, there is, and there are AMs. We have, you know, from Bill Handel and the rest of the team to Petros and Money on our sports stations. There is no cluster anywhere that's even comparable to what we have out here. Paul, can I ask and you it, one more question? Not, not, mm -hmm. not to cut I'll you go, off. I'll, from, go, I'll, I'll go to battle with, with this team any, any day. Not to cut you off from, you know, giving us praise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> how we, we like is. that. We <laughs> never get it. Uh, is it is it true that you were shirtless on the Pride uh, Parade, waving at everybody? I wasn't shirtless. I was at I the heard pride you were parade. Shirtless. 
What's that? I heard you were shirtless and waving. You were getting really into it. I wanted to find out, like, uh, I, I was it. I if was it got you late afterwards with, uh, or what? Ariana Grande's brother, Frankie. Oh, oh wow. Wow. <laughs> Not yeah. Then you had Lucky. to be shirtless. I tell you what, Paul. <laughs> that loved, guy never I, wears a shirt. I, Paul I, does I love wasn't. Him some I, was, I wasn't shirtless. I had my my iHeart rainbow sh- uh, colored shirt yeah. on. And okay. I was, and okay. I was enjoying the parade yeah. from the float. Got swept up. <laughs> yeah, because I heard, man, he got really into it. He had his shirt yeah. off. He was waving at the there crowd no and everything. Sh- the shirt never <laughs> yeah. came off. It was the pants. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, Paul, thanks for being a good sport, man. Oh. This has yeah, been our very first guys. ever airing of grievances with uh, with Paul. He's our, our market, uh, or div- I'm sorry, divisioner. Division. I see. I got to get used yeah. to all the new titles, man. There's so yeah. many. There's a new one all the time. All right, this is The Woody Show. We'll be right back.